Well, James Baldwin inspired stage production is a is hitting the stage right now. James Baldwin well, is a world renowned playwright, activist, and novelist. Playwright and actor Tristan Andre is here to tell us all about this production. Tristan, great to have you in the program this morning. Remind our audience the impact James Baldwin had on the country during his time. Yes, well, James Baldwin contributed to the civil rights movement and he actually helped organize with those whom we do are familiar with, such as uh, Martin Luther King. And he was definitely in close company with uh, Malcolm X and he was very close friends with Medgar Evers. Um, and he was a writer of his time and he revolutionized uh, what it meant to be a black person, a black um, gay person uh, with his writings such as Giovanni's Room and uh, Go Tell It on the Mountain. And he was just profound and prophetic in uh, the times as it spoke to, or uh, as he spoke a lot to racial terror. And um, he did that through his through his essays and also through his fiction writing, such as his novels and his plays, The A-Man Corner and Blues from Mr. Absolutely. Charlie. Absolutely. So this is a full circle moment for you. So how did Baldwin inspire you? Well, he definitely helped tap, helped me tap into my personal truth. Um, and when you sit with his writings, I remember specifically uh, on UNC's campus in the library, I had just sat with his collection of essays and I had finally come across Notes of a Native Son. And there's a section, uh, there's the section when you finally arrive to the actual Native Son section where he talks about his father and the relationship that the nuance that he had uh, experienced in relationship to his father growing up in Harlem. And that to me really inspired me to sort of examine my own personal relationships with people who I love, people who have um, shaped who I am, uh, because I'm a firm believer that we, uh, we do not arrive at this place on our own, that we do have helping hands, and folks who inform and who love us and who shape us and who help mold us along the way so that we can become who we need to be in this world. Um, and so, yes. <laughs> and you know, Tristan, this actually began as part of your thesis. So walk us through that mindset and turning this into production. Yes. So um, my third year in graduate school, uh, I wanted to create this work on James Ball when it had been spoken over my life by my a professor. And she is now the chair of uh, drama at UNC, Kathy Hunter Williams who directed me in this piece. But my first year of grad school, she had, she had, we had walked past one another and she just looked at me and said, where's my James Baldwin piece? And then three years later, I had the opportunity um, as I was approaching graduation to create a, a solo performance work on James Baldwin. And she sort of planted, she was one of the ones who planted that seed from the beginning. And so uh, I used my third year as an opportunity to finally create the piece. And alas, here we are with They Do Not Know Harlem. Well, the show is called They Don't Know Harlem. It's on playing right now at the Playmakers Repertory Company in Chapel Hill. Uh, shows are running through March 12th. Tickets are still available. Go to goplaymakersrepertory.org, goplaymakersrep.org for more information and tickets. Tristan, all the best. And as we say in the business, break a leg. Thank you so much. Thank you.